नानम परमम धेयम नॉलेज इज सुप्रीम In the last lecture, we saw uh, roots of unity over an arbitrary field, and we are trying to study the Galois group of uh, the field extension, which we got by adjoining a primitive nth root of unity to a given ground field. So let me recall the notation. So first of all, k field. and uh, we are studying this polynomial x power n minus 1 and the zeros of this polynomial and we decided that it is enough that we can assume that this n and the characteristic of k these are co prime so in characteristic of zero this is always true so if k were q there is no condition and this condition is equivalent to saying that n dot 1 is not zero in k this is n in k is not zero this is automatic in Characteristic zero field, no integer can be zero in the characteristic zero field. And then we have uh, what we did was we first enlarge this field L so that it contains all the roots of nth roots of uh, unity. So mu n L is contained here, and this is actually a finite subgroup of this actually contained in L cross. This is a finite subgroup, of L L cross, and therefore cyclic, and hence cyclic of order n, and it has a generator. A generator, any generator of this group is called a primitive. root of unity so zeta is a primitive root of primitive nth root of unity that is zeta power n is 1 and not only that the order of zeta equal to n which is also order of this group mu n l and once you have chosen such a root then we know that if i take a sub field of l generated by the zeta this k this is contained here this is contained here now we are interested in this field extension because also note that Uh, this the whole mu n l group this is actually a subgroup of k zeta cross that is because one zeta is there all elements of this which are powers of this group is nothing but one zeta zeta square zeta power n minus 1 this is that group so this is visibly contained in this and we what we noted was this field extension so gal uh, the, this field extension this or k is galva because we know how to test a simple extension is galva that is since the minimal polynomial of zeta over k divides 
x power n minus 1 in kx and this this polynomial has different roots distinct roots and all are simple and therefore mu zeta k so mu zeta k splits into linear factors simple linear factors simple linear factors in k zeta x and therefore this extension is galois and we also know what is the degree of this field extension so the degree of the field extension k zeta over k this i know because it's a simple extension it is degree mu zeta k but because it is galois this degree is also equal to the order of the galois group of k zeta over k but we don't know exactly what the order is we don't know exactly what mu is mu zeta is therefore we don't know what is the degree is but still we want to conclude about the structure of this group in particular i want to note that this group is abelian and for q when k equal to q uh, i want to compute i want to give a structure for this group what is it what is the group exactly this is what we want to do it now okay so one problem is to find a minimal polynomial exactly and therefore we can find a degree and then that will give you order of the galois group but that will still not prove it is abelian for example but what information now i want to extract from this group mu n mu n is this group mu n is the the group uh, generated by zeta this is zeta zeta square zeta power n minus 1 this is a cyclic group so this mu n i suppress that uh, k zeta or k from uh, or l from the notation this is that group this is cyclic of order n and we know what are for example what are the automorphisms of this group what is ot mu n this group automorphisms as a group i don't have to write here this is the automorphism group group of the cyclic group mu n and we know automorphism group so that means they are automorphisms of the group so that means the elements here are precisely the group homomorphism from this to this so let me call it tau the group homomorphisms and bijective the inverse is also group homomorphism so therefore it it is clear that it should map a generator to generator so tau should map tau maps generator any generator to a generator so one generator we know it is zeta this should map it to another generator but we know all the generators of this group what are the generators of this group let me write it on the next page so the i will write here the answer first so it is going to zeta power r where r is um, uh, smaller equal to n minus 1 zero this and also gcd of r and n should be coprime only those are the generators so no this, this is this observation i have deduced it from the fact that 
um, generators of these groups are precisely we can describe them in terms of a given generator and the given generator i use is zeta they are zeta power r where 0 less equal to r less equal to n minus 1 and actually 1 and G, gcd of r and n is 1 so it is clear that zeta power r is also generator because the gcd is 1 that means the combination um, ar plus bn equal to 1 and this will mean that when I raise it zeta power 1 so that is zeta will be equal to zeta power ar plus bn but this is equal to zeta power r power a and that will be zeta power n power b but this is 1 and therefore this is nothing but zeta power r power a. So, once zeta is a generate, uh, so this is this power of this is also zeta that means this also generates and precisely those generates because if the GCD is more than 1 then it will generate a subgroup of smaller order and therefore it cannot be the whole group therefore it cannot be the generator. So, we know the generators and therefore this group what this group mu n you can identify with with the gen with the z mod n cross remember what are the z mod n cross elements they are precisely the elements this is a unit group of unit group of the ring z mod n that means they are units in that ring and we know they are precisely the integers which are co-prime to n and what is the identification this identification is any automorphism tau this tau is uniquely determined by the fact that where tau goes uh, where zeta goes so look at tau of zeta and that is the power of zeta and that power I am mapping it to that power where this r is defined by this equation tau of zeta equal to zeta power r this is this is the identification given any r which is co prime you look at this definition that will give you a, a automorphism of this and this. So, this group is the unit group of z mod n and we know what is the order of this group the order of this group is so we know order of cardinality of ot mu n which is cardinality of the unit group of z mod n cross which we know it is phi n this where phi is phi is Euler's Ocean function and now it's it's clearly it's clearly abelian group it, it is abelian but may not be cyclic but need not be cyclic For example, when you take um, uh, n equal to 15, that is z mod n, z mod 15 cross, this is z mod 3 cross, cross z mod 5 cross, and here you see there are elements, um, there are elements here, uh, there are the elements of order 2 are more than 1 see in a cyclic in a cyclic group the elements of order n uh, elements of order d are precisely phi of d so i would simply say check that this group is not cyclic not cyclic because this is even order this is also even order 
and this is what what is this group actually actually you can write down this is z mod 2 cross z mod 4 as a as a group this is cyclic so let me not write this this is cyclic of order 2 this is also cyclic of order 4 these are fields therefore the groups are cyclic this order 2 this order 4 and they are 2 and 4 are not co prime so there is an element of order 2 here that element comma identity and element of order 2 here and identity here there will be at least two elements of order 2 so therefore this group cannot be cyclic but gauss has answered this is a, this is a very the theorem of gauss exactly for which n determine all n such that this group is cyclic and there is a nice answer to this when so you take this as an exercise so this group is not so this has something to do with the prime decomposition of n so I will just say look at the prime decomposition. of n. Uh, see I want to compute the Galois group so I want to state the theorem. So before I state I want to create a notation for this k zeta. k zeta we know this is the splitting field I start using this term now splitting field of x power n minus 1 over the given field k and remember that n is not 0 in k that is important assumption we have made it. So and what is the splitting field? You look at this polynomial and enlarge k so that all the roots lie in that field and take the subfield of that field generated by the roots. So in the symbols first of all you take L so that all roots of this polynomial v x power n minus 1 all the roots they lie here they are completely contained here so I do not have to say here what so they are all roots and and uh, among um, so take these roots and take the field over k adjoint to all these k's and exactly those this is contained here this is contained here and this is clearly a subfield because whether I write round bracket or square bracket it is same because we are in algebraic case we are in algebraic field extension case therefore subfield of this is same because this extension is algebraic and this is an intermediary field which is generated as a k algebra over k by the roots of this polynomial that is precisely the splitting field. So this splitting and this zeta is one generator but I want to get independent of that zeta so I will denote the splitting this we will denote we will denote this k zeta because this depends only on this n and k right. So this I want to denote by k power round bracket n. Actually strictly speaking I should say I denote this by this and we have noted that this equal to this. So this is and we have checked that this extension over k this is galva. We know its primitive root primitive element is this. But we do not know what is the Galois group. We do not know what is its degree exactly. But obviously now you have, one might have guessed that this degree of this extension has something to do with the phi n. Because this came out of that group which has order 
the automorphism group of that mu n has order phi n. Okay, so precisely we will prove the following theorem. So theorem. So let K be a field. N a natural number. Non-zero with condition that GCD of n and characteristic k is one. That is, n is not equal to zero in k. This is what the assumption we had. Then the map. I am giving the map. Between the two groups, one group is the group we are interested. In, that is Galois group of k power round bracket n over k. This is the group we are interested. In. We are interested in this Galois extension. We don't know degree. We want to find the degree. On the other hand, uh, from this n, we got hold of the group mu n, which is a cyclic, which is a finite subgroup of this field cross therefore it is finite and therefore it is cyclic and therefore i will talk about we can talk about automorphism group of that field mu n in this field k round bracket n they are the roots of unity in this field and they are all of them are there so this group has order n and this is cyclic this is cyclic Of order n, but I am not saying the automorphism group is cyclic. But this group, I know, this group, this group is isomorphic to Z mod n, and then units in that Z mod n cross. This I know, and I want to give a map here. Then the map, what is the map? That means I have to map any automorphism tau. Uh, sigma, sigma is an automorphism of k power n to k power n. This is a k algebra automorphism. This I want to map it to an automorphism here. Well, but where is this group? This group mu n k n. This is a subgroup here of the multiplicative group mu mu n. K round bracket n. This is mu n. K power round bracket n. This one is a sub of this. Actually, it is a subgroup of K n cross. And this sigma is a K algebra homomorphism. So sigma restricts. Sigma respects the multiplication. So when I this is contained here. So when I restrict sigma to this, sigma restricted to this. So I will not write what sigma restriction. So these are the elements, and I can restrict sigma to that. And where does it go? So uh, sigma first of all will be uniquely determined by its value on zeta. And once sigma zeta is uh, so, uh, so the the because it's a multiplication also preserved, so it will give you a multiplication uh, the group homomorphism here, actually group automorphism. So this restriction will give you automorphism of this group. So this is an automorphism of. This group mu n k n. Uh, remember, I just say that it is a group homomorphism, and because this this map is automorphism, this sigma is an automorphism, so it's in particular injective, and this is a restriction of injective map, so it's definitely injective. And this is now a finite set. This is the same set. So an injective map from a finite set to finite set is an uh, bijective map. So this is also bijective, and it's a group homomorphism because the sigma is a 
multiplication preserving map. So note that this sigma is indeed an automorphism of this. So we have given a map, then take any sigma and map that sigma to this restriction. So sigma is mapped to the restriction to this mu n k n. So we have a map and what is the statement? The statement says that the map, this map is injective, is injective group homomorphism. In particular, this Galva group k power n over k, this is abelian. because the automorphism group is abelian because this group is abelian this group is abelian because it is zn cross it's a multiplicative group of a ring z mod n therefore it is abelian therefore this is group is a subgroup of this you can identify this as a subgroup of this and therefore it is abelian and it can be identified canonically with a subgroup of Z mod n cross. Again I say canonically because I didn't choose any zeta. Furthermore, the order of this group gal k power round bracket n over k the, which is equal to the degree of the field extension because it is galva extension this divides the order of g n cross this is by lagrange theorem this is a subgroup of this therefore order divide this but this order i know this order is phi n therefore the order of the galva group divides phi n that is the information we get it and okay then I will continue after the break. <laughs>